What's up guys? So today we're here at Nick's house. Uh, we're gonna be working on our cars. Uh, David is gonna be working on his M3. So today he's gonna be raising up his coilovers a little bit because you can low. see it's way too, too low. low. I scrape on everything. Yep. David moved down to LA, so the roads down there aren't the greatest, as you probably know. Oh yeah, I should, I should have some. So I bought this 2013 328i just to drive until my Lotus Mirror comes in late next year. It is a six-speed manual. Uh, however, it's pretty beat up. The exterior has some door dings on it. The headlights need restoring, which we're going to restore today. And in another video, we're going to be fixing up this paint scratch right here. 3M kit comes with five items. Uh, first is the 500 grit sandpaper, and then 800, and then 3000 grit. And then we'll finish it with some rubbing compound. First thing we want to do is mask the edges of the headlights with uh, masking tape. So this way that when we're polishing and sanding, we don't uh, scratch up the paint on the side. So you don't have to do this perfect, just enough so that we can cover up the red paint. So the next thing we're going to do is spray the headlights with some rubbing alcohol and just clean it off. So that way when we're polishing and sanding, there's no uh, contaminants in the way. So when we're sanding, always make sure to pour water and wet sand so that the dust from the sanding won't get into your lungs. And once we've gotten it wet, we'll start with the lowest setting and start sanding with the 500 grit. After sanding with the 500 grit, we'll see that the cracks are mostly gone, but the lens are a little bit cloudy. So that cloudiness is expected and will go away as we increase our grit. Okay, so if you guys can see here, there's a little botchy spot after sanding with the 600 grit. So that means we haven't completely taken off the UV coating. So what I'm gonna do is use a sanding block and then sand this off uh, with the 600 grit sandpaper. So we're just gonna keep sanding this until the blotch is gone and then we'll move up to a finer grit. Remember again, always use water when we're sanding. After we're done with the 800 grit, we'll move on to sanding the 3000 grit. So after 3000 grit, it should start looking a little more clear. We're now going to finish up with some compound. So we're just going to dab a little bit, a couple dots of compound. Now that we finished polishing with the compound, we're gonna clean it up a little bit. Let's get rid of the tape. So all in all, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, it definitely looks better than it was before. Once we finish cleaning off the fresh headlights. Uh, normally we would apply some UV spray, UV protectant spray. However, I don't have that right now. So I'm gonna use some ceramic spray coating by Turtle Wax and hopefully this will protect the newly polished headlights. So let's go ahead and just spray a little bit. And then just simply wipe that off. And we're done. So we can see here the finished product. 
All in all, it looks a lot better than it did before. Let's go over and look at the other headlight for reference. So you can see in this headlight, there's still a bunch of micro cracks. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, but there's a lot of micro cracks and chips in this one. It looks super foggy. But if we go over to our new, newly polished headlight, it looks so much clearer. I wouldn't say quite brand new, but for a $13 kit, I would say that's a pretty good job. So that's it for this video, guys. And uh, in my next video, I'll fix these giant paint scruffs right here from the previous owner. Stay tuned for that vlog and thanks for watching.